As you know, with Marquesa, you know, you've got these really intricate, beautiful appliques and so many amazing details, and we're applying that kind of theory and thinking to the hair. So for the up look, we're applying a braid, and it's just a classic three-strand braid that we again use VIP directly onto the braid because it allows for more fullness and texture out of the braid. We separate the hair, kind of hand sweep everything away from the face, separate, tie it in, cinch two knots right on top of each other, secure it with pins, tuck the ends away, and voila. And then on our long look, we're using the knots sort of randomly placed in, in like a crown-like shape around their head. We're applying natural flowers, real flowers, and we're doing that with Lac Noir, which is our stronghold hairspray, and clip the flowers right before they are applied to the hair. We tie individual tiny, tiny blossoms. W using a strand of their own hair, we tie it directly on there, and then spray the flower onto the hair with Lac Noir, and it is just, it locks it in place, and it's so gorgeous. Can't wait for you to see it. The designers wanted to create a look that was fresh, beautiful, clean, but had a, a runway, modern, editorial twist to it. So in today's look, we created flawless skin with a pink flush in the cheek and a wash of pink on the lips with a more of a creamy matte finish. And the brows are fuller and not overly defined, effortless, misplaced few brows. Then the colors on the eye that we used were more of a heather, mauvey, gray tones. So cooler based, as any bride should always go towards because, you know, pinks, apricots, those tones can make your eyes look tired. We define the eyes, tight lining the eyes, curling, curling, curling the lashes, and a black mascara. So the rest of the look is more of a matte, sheer, creamy finish. And then you're gonna see this wet, heavy gloss on the eyelids. So it'll be spectacular, but subtle. We wanted to do a presentation this time. Obviously, we're here at the St. Regis, and these rooms are so beautiful, so that was really inspiring for us. We wanted to also play with different colour tones this season. We've done blushes before, but this season we've done a champagne dress and we were looking at a lot of different separates. Yeah, in fact, one of the dresses over there is a three piece. There's a skirt with a separate bustier and then a separate jacket over the top. And then there's also a dress over there which has a detachable cape. So thinking a little bit about versatility as well for that bride out there. Marquesa was beautiful. It was delicate Chantilly lace with delicate crystal beads. It was just very light and soft and feminine, very ethereal. I think to go for something that's timeless, something that's not too sort of edgy. I think it's always a good idea for a bride, you know, to make sure that somebody films them with their phone and takes snapshots front, back, every angle, so you really get a feel for what the dress looks like when it's moving and from behind. <laughs> it's a long day when you get married. It is. You really <laughs> want to have fun, and, and, and I think being able to move and be comfortable in your dress, is, as far as you can be, is important. Gorgeous collection, as always. What I like about this, it's super feminine, but it's also really wearable, which I think is nice. Sometimes with dresses that have a ton of volume, it's hard to pull off, but there are a lot of different silhouettes here, things that you know make the women feel and look beautiful. The lace is beautiful, the detail, and I think in this setting, we were able to get really up close to the dresses, which we don't always get in the show, to see like the effort and the texture and the layers. I mean, there's like, 
lace underneath that's adding to the dimension of the dress that you get to see really up close in this setting. So Marquesa shower presentation is always worth getting up for. <laughs> When, when we're designing bridal, we're thinking of all different kinds of women out there. But I think, you know, we naturally tend to have a romantic aesthetic. I mean, that's what we enjoy doing. And, you know, I, I think we, you know, we, when we're inspired from our runway collections, I think we do bring some of that through to our bridal collection. It's something we love doing. We enjoy bridal, so I, we hope that comes through in the dresses. Mm -hmm. 